guys, today's video, I'm going to discuss the different types of microcomputers. So let's proceed. What is microcomputers? It is a small computer that contains a microprocessors as its central processors. Microprocessor, it is a any type of miniature electronic device that contain the arithmetic logic and control unit to perform the function of a digital computer central processing unit. Microprocessors parts. Microprocessors parts has two parts, arithmetic logical unit and control unit. Ah, arithmetic logical unit is a calculation unit in microcomputer and it's also known as logical unit na nagpo-perform ng addition, subtraction, multiplication, complement, or many more operation. Ang control unit naman is to control the execution and sequence of instructions. Example is control unit to receive instruction from device and then convert the instruction into specific format para ma-access niya yung location ng data in memory and give the control to ALU for performing action on specific instructions. Types of memory. We have two types of memory. Random access memory and read-only memory. RAM is part of volatile memory that stores data for a short time of period till the light is switched on. Random access memory is a hardware device that allows information to be stored and retrieved by computer dahil nag access ng randomly instead of sequentially like it is on a CD or hard drive access time are much faster pero unlike sa ROM ang RAM is volatile memory and nagre-record siya ng power to keep the data accessible and kapag namatay ang yung device or computer all good data contain or save in RAM ay mawawala. So next is ROM, read-only memory, part siya ng non-volatile memory that stores data permanently. ROM has permanent data storage. Once the data has written on it, contain will not loss if power turn off or turn on. Ang um, example nito ng ROM is cartridge. Ginagamit siya sa video game consoles that allows the system to run many games. So let's proceed to types of microcomputers. Number one is desktop computer. A desktop computer is a computer that fits on under a desk. It has a monitor or another display, keyboard, mouse, and either horizontal or vertical tower. Form factor. Unlike laptop, which is portable, a desktop computer usually stays at one location. Also, desktop computer is a personal computer. This computer is heavyweight. It uses a one location and one person at work at a time. Next. Notebook computer or laptop. Alternative referred to as a notebook, a laptop is a portable computer that is more efficient and nearly as powerful as a desktop computer. Also, we can carry laptop very easily because it is lightweight. We can do many types of work with the help of laptop. Smartphones A smartphone is a cell phone that allows you to do more than make phone calls and send text messages. Smartphones can browse the internet and run software programs like a computer. Smartphones use to attach screen to allow user to interact with them. There are thousands of smartphones apps including games, personal use, and business use, programs that all run on the phone. And also, we can do send email, listening, music, text picture, and use Facebook and other social media platforms in smartphones. Next. Tablet computers. Tablet computer or tablet PC is a mobile computing device designed to be held in one or two hands. Tablet let you do many of the same thing as a traditional computer. They can browse the internet, 
connection to social network apps, and display HD videos. Wearable computer Wearable computer is a computer for carrying on the body. For example, on the wrist, it allows you to work, communicate, entertain, write along, ensuring mobility and hands-free, and eyes-free access to the device. Smart TV or modern TVs A smart TV is a digital television that is essentially an internet connected storage aware computer specialized for entertainment. Smart TVs are available as a standalone product but regular television can also be made smart through set top boxes that enable advanced functions. That's all, thank you.